Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to talk about one of the popular vulnerability and I think everybody knows uh, about log4j and yeah of course we are not going to talk in depth about you know how does this log4j vulnerability work, how to exploit it manually because there are numbers of video already available on YouTube probably you would have seen already if you don't then again um, you can just simply search about how this log4j vulnerability works and you will get some really popular and reputed channels there people have posted a detailed POC and everything that it works behind now what I am going to talk about is more specifically the impact of log4j for an organization point of view yeah of course the technically there is some uh, impact is there but how it affect as a security engineer let's say you are part of an organization and you are being given a uh, scope to let's say assure that uh, there are like 50,000 of systems available inside the organization and you need to make sure that the log uh, I mean all those systems which are affected with log4j are getting passed on time or in fact before time and you are uh, secured from those kind of attack at least from an external attacker point of view so let's get into it uh, and we'll try to understand how in an organization this log4j has impacted how the organization taking action against it and how they are doing their patching work all right so let's get started now i'm going to take initially two minutes just to explain you about this log4j vulnerability with kind of one line definition so that at least uh, you get some idea even if you don't know again as i said i am not going to talk in depth about log4j vulnerability so log4j vulnerability is basically associated with java library and it's basically as an unauthenticated uh, remote code execution vulnerability that typically get triggered whenever a user controlled uh, string or parameter value let's say you are passing some value in the username or email address field is getting logged by your application or by i'm mean, getting logged somewhere inside uh, some server so that is where this log for j vulnerability happen i know this is really fast and short but i think this is a simple definition i can say now which are the different versions that typically having log 4 j vulnerability we typically start from 2.0 beta to again 2.15 or i guess 2.17 also i i will put the you know uh, version exactly over here so that you get some idea now uh, in which parameter you can basically check for this log 4 j vulnerability it could be any parameter it could be username it could be uh, email address it could be phone number address which you have typically gets logged by the server right that is where this you will have this log for your vulnerability again i will put one uh, payload typical payload example uh, because you will have this jndi lookup and you get some you know reverse shell as well with this log for your vulnerability no need to explain further if you want to understand better do watch some other video it will give you more knowledge now how you can identify log for your vulnerability again i will give some of the online uh, dns token based kind of website again i will put some three link you can definitely check this website a lot of people typically use this website to confirm about this log4j vulnerability i should give, give it a try and check this website if you are log4j vulnerability you can use this website basically and create a dns address or token and then you can typically verify your log4j vulnerability now is there any scanner that exists to enumerate log4j vulnerability or help to detect log4j vulnerability of course there are scanner but again organization typically do not use this kind of small python script or something they will use some of the tools like nasa squalis uh, you know this kind of big tool that typically connected to all those different system inside your organization like 30,000, 40,000 system and that is where they will perform some nasa scan or quality scan and identify which all systems are actually uh, having this log 4j vulnerability uh, because those were mostly the authenticated scan again i have already made a video about this nasa tool probably you can watch in my channel but yes or uh, in fact if you don't know then you can check out my course also that i have made on network security that will definitely help you to understand how you can configure this authenticated scan uh, with nessus also so what i was saying like with nessus and all those uh, qualis and different tools typical organization manage their different asset for the authenticated scan and that's how they basically uh, get an idea like which all systems are having log4j vulnerability now what all information that can be extracted using log4j a lot many things aws key or even your uh, you know host name java dot version i'll again put some list of payload that uh, can be tried in order to enumerate more and more so this is the basically the initial part about the log for your vulnerability now let's talk about how organization basically deals with this log for your vulnerability so as i said some time ago like organization manage the different uh, system with the authenticated scan with either they use nessus or polis or i mean any other tools that they like now if you have or if your organization is also even using that tools uh, typical the tools will push some plugin or update basically that will have this log4j 
identification capability and once the tool basically nessus or let's say call is identifies those vulnerability they will list okay these are the number of system those are suffering for log 4g vulnerability now what is the next step that they typically uh, the security or it team can do so they will push the you know notification to everyone okay okay we got one log 4g kind of vulnerability which is critical in nature because it is unauthenticated one and what uh, we want every one of our server to get patched by this particular vulnerability now what are the challenges that typically arises or what are the challenges that typically we face during that lot of developer team they don't simply care about okay what is this a log for j we don't care uh, let it be we will run our code we will run our program but they tend to forget about uh, you know the uh, severity of a particular vulnerability so that is where the security engineer or any security uh, person who is responsible for the particular team need to make them educate okay no 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 you can get infected with that your application in fact get compromised or even your whole system can also get compromised so make sure that you are uh, applying the proper patches uh, with whatever patches that is available for your log 4g identified system uh, time what happen like uh, some developer will keep some system or maybe some team will have keep some system on their uh, maybe in, uh, they on managed area i would say basically they will just keep or plugged in uh, whenever they need or maybe uh, uh, maybe placed somewhere inside some lab or somewhere and uh, that will have if that is having some uh, log for jab vulnerability and that is getting exposed to internet then that becomes a massive massive impact for our organization so they don't want those kind of system to be left behind so it's important as an team or as an uh, part of an organization you should know like which all systems are already there in your or used by your team and uh, which all system that can be uh, get infected so you, if you have the invent ready with you you can just check against with which teams or who basically owns a particular group of system and tell them okay this is the vulnerability you need to apply a patch as soon as possible now that is how uh, this kind of challenges get remediated of course the follow up needs to be done with different team of course uh, because they don't uh, typically care about this kind of security issue but yes as long as they are educated as long as you make them understand about this particular vulnerability they will uh, go ahead and uh, take some necessary action against this log 4g vulnerability coming to the bigger question uh, like uh, log 4g kind of vulnerability or even we have seen this kind of attack in past also like we have seen wanna cry we have seen shell shock and lot of different other attack in past now do these things will not happen in future absolutely yes this will definitely happen something like this kind of vulnerability will definitely appear but the organization is considered as strong as long as they are ready to face such kind of uh, you know um vulnerability or i would say such kind of security risk and they have their everything in plan or managed way so that any time they get some vulnerability notification okay let's say we have some web logic this issue uh some cd or some zero day has happened are you going to take some action against it it should be as immediate as possible that is where the strongness of an organization uh make uh, you realize okay this organization is strong now again as i said uh, any asset that is internet exposed or public exposed and still suffering for log 4g that needs immediate attention whereas some of the system which are actually internally communicated the priority can be uh, you know typically minimized from 3 to 7 days and then they should apply the patches but of course uh, but the big thing is any system that is publicly exposed must go through um, you know some kind of patches so this is how it works in an organization right this is how organization manages about this kind of vulnerability like log 4j or even uh, wanna cry or those kind of thing that we have seen in past so i hope you guys would have got some idea about how this log 4j vulnerability is managed or impacted an organization or even a security engineer and uh, yeah i hope this video would have helped you to get some idea i know this might have been a little short kind of video because i want to give you some of the real world experience how things work in an organization and i hope you like this particular video do like share subscribe and thanks for watching